Hello, I'm Brandon Brill, owner and operator of Quick Water Heater and Filtration Company. Today we're at a customer's house to discuss what we're seeing with the Navian product and the error codes that it's producing, and quite honestly, the lack of support we're getting from Navian for this. This is our 14th problem this month, which means that we have to drive out here piss off the customer, they're looking at us like we did something wrong with the installation when in fact it's actually, I think it's actually a circuit board issue. This is the actual part that is malfunctioning within Navian and we totally get it. Nothing's perfect and there's going to be problems but you have to pay your contractors, the guys who are out here protecting your brand Navian to cover all the repairs for this and unfortunately in California paying somebody $75 to do anything doesn't really cut the mustard, especially when you're a top-notch company like us who must protect our customers. Um, we have a five-star rating on Yelp, and Navian is jeopardizing that by not supporting us and not covering the cost of repairing this and so that we can pay our technicians and cover the cost for our customers. So this is basically the motherboard, the controller for the whole entire unit. It's having problems and throwing error codes and then just turning off. This is our pretty much biggest problem with Navian right now. Otherwise, they're pretty good. Joseph, step in here with me. When you called Navian, what did uh, what did they tell you was going on with this thing? It's a PCB? Yeah, it's the PCB, which is pretty much, I believe, the brains of the system. Um, but they sent out a new part. They said it could be an issue with the grounding or other appliances plugged in, but I confirmed that that wasn't the issue here. They have sent new parts, but... How many of these do you think we've seen this month? Like, how many have you done recently? Personally, I've done four this month. Okay, yeah. so we got a crew of six. We've got one guy doing four. Mm -hmm. The problem is, plumbers, this is for you. Navian gives you $75 to come out three times because you gotta come out and diagnose it. They won't just give you the part over the phone, which is a pain in the butt. In the whole process of all this, we're just pissing the customer off. Like, we're trying to give great service here. I get that errors come up, but if they could just ship us the part directly to the customer as soon as we know what the issue is, rather than coming out here, coming back to do it, and then we have to come back if something goes wrong. So my main point is here is that Navian's really not supporting the plumber, and it's driving us nuts. So it costs us a couple hundred dollars to come out each time, but Navian pays us $75. So when you're considering buying a Navian product, do consider that sometimes there's gonna be some downsides. They don't really seem to wanna own their problems that they're getting us into, and because we put their product in, it comes down to our reputation. So we have to take care of the customer. They pay us $75, which barely covers the cost of the guy to file the claim with Navian. In fact, the rep in Southern California in San Diego told us nobody does it because it actually costs more to get your admin team on board to do all the paperwork than the actually refunding cost. So if you're a consumer and you're looking at Navian, be aware they're having some problems with support for us, which means it's gonna be an issue for you. Do consider that. Plumbers, same thing. Um, consider whether or not you want to align with the brand if the brand is not going to support you. Brandon Burrill, Quick Water Heater, thank you for watching.